Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is a part 2 of ages. So in the part 1 of ages, we discussed about the basic concepts in ages and as well as the simple sum to it. So in the part 2, we will be discussing a much tougher problems compared to it and how easily we can solve it. So the first question is, Padni is 40 years old and Krishna is 60 years old. How many years ago was the ratio of their ages was 3 is to 5? In the part 1 itself, I have clearly told you, you have to segregate the question into brackets such that it is easy for you to find it. So, Padmini is 40 years old. So, Krishna is 60 years old. How many years ago? So, we have to find number of years ago was the ratio of their ages was 3 is to 5. So, they didn't mention the years ago. But the word ago means that we have to subtract it. So, Padmini by Krishna is nothing but Padmini is 40 years old when we don't know how many years ago divided by Krishna was 60 years old we don't know the years ago again was their ratio 3 is to 5 it's very simple to solve once you find this equation all you have to do is find the x just cross multiply it so 200 minus 5x is equal to 180 minus 3x you just move the 5 there. So, 2x is equal to 20 and x is equal to 10 years. So, 10 years ago, the ratio of their ages were 3 is to 5. So, how did we solve it? So, we know their respective ages. We put it in a fraction wise and put x as the number of years ago and equate it to the ratio that they have given. If you just cross multiply it and find x, you will be able to find the years ago in which the ratio was so and so. Similarly, they will just interchange the value of their ages and then give you a various ratio proportion. Based on that, all you have to do is follow the same method, only the values will change here to find the number of years ago. Let's solve another problem. Okay, the second question that they are given is, Kanishk present age is two-fifth of his mother. After eight years, he will be one-half of the age of his mother. How old is the mother at present? As usual, just segregate the question. First part of the question talks about Kanish present age is two-fifth of his mother. Second part talks about after eight years, one half of the age of his mother. And they are asking for the mother's age at present. So let's write it for the first part. They are telling that let's say Kanish age as X and his mom age as Y. So what is the first part? Kanish present age is two-fifth of his mother. So X is nothing but two by five of Y. So, obviously, y is equal to 5x by 2. Just leave it as such now. Next, after 8 years, he will be one half of the age of his mother. So, after 8 years, the word after means we have to add here. So, after 8 years, Kanish age will be one half, half of the age of his mother. Mother's age is y. So, y plus 8. So, just cross multiply it. 2x plus 16 y we can write it as 5x by 2 plus 8 just cross multiply 2 again 4x plus 32 5x plus 16 so take 5x there x is equal to 16 so x is equal to 16 so but read the question how old is the mother of, at present so, X is nothing but Kanishk age. They are not asking for Kanishk age. They are asking Kanishk mother age. So, we know X now. We have to find Y. Y is equal to 5X by 2. So, 5 by 2. X value is 16. So, 8 which is 40 years. So, mother of Kanishk age at present is nothing but 40 years. This is where the people goes wrong. The question that they have asked is not for Kanish age. People just stop it at x is equal to 16. And even in the solution or answer solution also, you get the option as 16. So they will directly take it and go to the next question. But read the question carefully. Are they asking for Kanish age? No. They are asking for his mom's age. So next step you have to solve in finding it y to get the 40 years. So that's how you have to split the question. First you read the question, check the equation whether it's pertaining to the question or not. Once you find the answer, again read the question one more time to check whether your answer is pertaining to the question. Let's solve another problem. Okay, the next question that I've asked is, sum of the present ages of father and his son is 60 years. Six years ago, father's age was five times the age of son. After six years, son's age will be. So first step, 
as usual segregate the question first part they are talking about the sum of their present ages second part 6 years ago father's age was 5 times the age of son and then the question that they have asked first assign a variable so let's take son's age as x and father's age as y now let's start solving the sum first part talks about sum of the present ages of father and his son is 60 years so son's age plus father's age is 60 so y is equal to 60 minus 6 let's just keep it like that so the second part of the sum 6 years ago father's age was 5 times the age of son so what was father's age y 6 years ago ago means we have to subtract it y minus 6 father's age was 5 times the age of son son is x so x minus 6 so we know that y is equal to 60 minus x substitute it here 60 minus x minus 6 is equal to 5x minus 30 so 60 minus 6 is 54 minus x is equal to 5x minus 30 so 6x is equal to 84 6 ones are 4s are so x is equal to 14 years so x is nothing but son's age so son's age is 14 years are they asking for the son's age no read the question again after 6 years, what will be the son's age now? Present age of son is 14. After 6 years, after means it's nothing but you have to add. So the present age is nothing but 14 years after 6 years. So plus 6, so 20 years. As I always say, read your question 2-3 times to understand what they are exactly asking. As for the previous sum, they will also be 14 in your option. But make sure, are they asking for the present age of son or are they asking for something else? So this is the most common type of ages sum we will see. Instead of father and son, it will be mother and son or between brother and sister. The same way they will be asking the question. All you have to do is first segregate it, find the equation for it, substitute the corresponding equation and find the answer pertaining to the what the question that they have asked. In this part of ages, we had solved a little bit tougher problems and little bit common problem that you could face in an exam. In the future videos, we'll be solving a much tougher problems in ages to understand the concept much better. So if you're a person who's looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.